Oh, hey there. You know what we're doing today? We're mixing flour and water. You know what that means. It's time to dough. Alex Coons here, back at Hot Tongue Pizza. Today, we're doing dough. Very simple recipe, but it's gonna be much better than any of that dirty dough you're getting from the grocery store. I'm gonna do that again. Don't wanna hate on the grocery store dough. Don't wanna spread hate. We're gonna get right into it. First, you weigh out your flour, okay? We're gonna put all the dust in. We're gonna put the salt. I like to use sugar. We got the yeast, okay? We're gonna give that a little spin around the neighborhood. They usually just use a fork. Okay, put that water in. Your oil. I'm going to put a glove on. You don't have to. I'm gonna hand mix this into a, a shaggy dough. And it's worth noting that if you have a stand mixer at home, or you're multiplying this recipe for your shop, you can literally, after this step, just mix for seven minutes. But if you don't have a stand mixer and you're doing it by hand, this is what I recommend. We're gonna knead this for about two minutes. And this is what I mean by shaggy dough. This kind of looks, looks a little shaggy, you know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we'll let that rest for 20 minutes. You can put a cloth over it. You can use saran wrap too. Woo, look at that, the shaggy dough. 20 minutes later. Okay, so at this point, I might put a little oil on there. Okay, we're gonna pick that up. It's gonna be a lot wetter after I had some time to sit. So I'm just gonna fold this into it. I'm just folding the dough into itself, okay? Just like that, okay? And now I'm gonna pick it up and we're gonna do this over and over again. So in slow motion, I'm just folding it in, folding it in, folding it in on itself, okay? So we're rolling this bad boy out, okay? Do it on the table if that's easier, but we're just kneading this to build up the gluten. We're gonna throw it back in this bowl real quick, throw a little oil on it. We're gonna let it sit for 15 before we roll the dough balls out. We're back, it's been 15 minutes. Time to pull this thing out the bowl. And we're gonna knead a little bit more. Depending on how much dough comes off your hands when you're kneading, this dough ball usually is not always the same, okay? So also invest in a dough blade. All right, 353. Okay, so there we go. We got our two dough balls. Depending on uh, how big you want your pizza to be, uh, you could split these into three, too, and do like little pies in your uni or whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna split them into two, okay? And again, we're folding them one more time for the last fold. So it's getting tighter, you can feel it, and then we'll, this is the most important part. You're basically squeezing it and closing the dough ball, okay? So that there is no gap. Okay, do this one. Dough ball's feeling nice and tight. Okay, and again, that's what it looks like. We're just closing, closing it up. You wanna close that up so you don't get holes in your dough when you're slapping it out, okay? So then, I have this tray, you can put them in a Pyrex container or Tupperware or whatever, just, I like to oil the bottom, okay? Put a little oil on top. And then you can close the container, Tupperware, or just cover the dough balls airtight. And then depending on how hot your, your kitchen is, 
I leave these out for usually like an hour. I like that yeast to really start working its magic. Um, but if it's like 80 degrees in your kitchen, maybe 25 minutes. That'll have to be adjusted, but that's gonna be on you. But you don't want them to overproof. So that's why I let them sit out, have the yeast do its thing, and then I put it back in the fridge, and then I let those puppies sit for 24 hours, okay? So throw this in the fridge. 24 hours later, baby. <laughs> it's already bubbling. Probably maybe a little overproof, but uh, these are fluff balls, baby. Almost doubled in size, and the, uh, they are ready to go. So we're gonna cook these. We're gonna make some pizza. I like to pull the dough out and let it sit for about an hour before I bake it. Gets to, you know, closer to room temperature. It's easier to work with. It's gonna cook better. So take one of these dough balls. I have a semolina flour mix. Coat that thing on your workstation. You're gonna build the wall. Okay, I like to bring it right up. All right, make some pizza.